What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Stocks to Watch and I think the market is ready to take off. Why do I think so? Is because a lot of index heavyweights, a lot of stocks which have like a decent weightage in Nifty Bank Nifty, um, they're setting up really nicely. And today, after I think five or six days, my watch list is quite large, like in terms of its number. So I feel the last time this happened, I think it was probably in the mid of April or maybe end of April. So I am pretty optimistic about the next week. So let's get started. But before I get started, please uh, ensure that you have subscribed to the channel if you are uh, a new subscriber here or if you're a new viewer. And please ensure that you hit the like button if you appreciate and like the research that we do. So let's get started. First, I will start off with the index and then I'll talk about stock specific action. Now, index remains a little tricky. Uh, the reason for that is uh, fairly simple. Uh, we have been falling for the last five days straight, I think, uh, if I'm not wrong. So we have, you know, mostly we've done the wave of correction that we basically had to. Now we are basically near this area of demand. And I think last time also I spoke to you about this, right? That this area of demand is pretty, pretty, pretty important. Now, although the market hasn't really came down all the way to this demand, but I think uh, this is like a decent enough place for Nifty to kind of start moving higher. Now, do I think the correction is over and the market is going to make a new all-time high? I don't think so. Uh, I think what the market's likely to do is maybe uh, we could go a little lower over here, maybe a 100-point correction on the index level. Um, and this is like the worst-case scenario. Like the worst-case scenario for me in Nifty is maybe a 100-point fall and then we start moving towards these areas of supply. Like that's the next two weeks of action or next two weeks of action that I think could happen. Now, the best case scenario, this is the worst case for me in Nifty, right? The best case scenario, what I feel in Nifty is Nifty is just going to start moving higher and then it's going to go towards the supply area and then eventually take supply and then sweep all the liquidity below this slope. So that is what I feel, uh, you know, if Nifty starts to, you know, move up, this is going to happen. If Nifty starts to move down, then that's going to happen. Now, on an overall front, I still feel that... Um, for someone who's looking for a positional play, uh, a risk on kind of a play in stocks, I think uh, 21,000 is the best place for you to kind of be aggressive in Nifty. Now, when I talk about Nifty, I have to talk about Reliance Industries. That's the heavyweight. And now what uh, I think we had discussed this uh, previously as well. Now, Reliance is still uh, about a percent or a half, maybe three and a half percent, three percent short of its area of demand. And when I look at Reliance on the hourly, I don't really get a good vibe. Uh, so I think Reliance can definitely come down into this area. And that would probably be the reason for Nifty to fall. So again, nothing very clear with Nifty. I think uh, Reliance is, you know, the, the biggest heavyweight over here. Um, now, IT and banks are looking a little better. So I think they could drive Nifty higher and maybe Infra, Oil and Reliance specifically. Uh, they, they could, uh, you know, probably be a little weaker. Now, Bank Nifty. Let's talk about Bank Nifty and uh, the scenario is pretty similar in Bank Nifty as well. Uh, Bank Nifty is a little shy of its area of demand over here. Literally 200 points, uh, 400 points, sorry. So around 300, 400 points, maybe a percent. Uh, Bank Nifty could probably dip and then bounce. Now HDFC Bank, now that's, that's why I said uh, it's a little tricky. HDFC Bank is already trading at its important area of demand, which I like, right? Biggest heavyweight does well. ICICI Bank, similar action, right? This has been an outperformer, by the way, trading at a good area of demand. Now, this kind of tells me that, okay, maybe we are ready for a bounce led by the banks. Now, State Bank of India is still hovering around over here, decent earnings. Um, so I think, again, uh, it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Now, another thing that could push Nifty higher is uh, IT, and I don't really see any big IT name um, are doing very well. But what I see is mid-cap IT trying to do well. So again, this is like a mixed bag. So Nifty, again, for me, would slightly be a little weaker. Same goes with Bank Nifty. But on the stocks front, we have a lot of names which have probably done their share of correction. Let's start with Valor Estate, which is DB Realty. Trading at an area of demand at an order block, I think it's ready to, ready to fly. Sterling Technologies. Now, this stock is a risky one because fundamentally, things are not really going well. But from a technical standpoint, this is at a good buy price. Uh, I think from a positional standpoint, mid-cap name could do well. Wanderla, similar action, trading at an area of demand. There could be a spike in this one as well. Um, I think fairly decent trade uh, idea over here as well. Vguard, 
tried to break out on Friday, failed. Maybe we start uh, seeing a wick fill and then followed by a decent move. Escorts is actually looking good on the 15 minute and I think this is one play that could be like a opening drive play. Uh, if the market starts to move beyond this, I think there could be good action. So Escorts, another decent name. Zomato, lot of eyes on this um, with the, the new priority fee that they have started charging. So again, that is like a margin expansion. So they started with like a one rupee or uh, convenience fee or a platform fee. Then they raised it to two, raised it to three, raised it to four. Now it's five. Now adding priority or, you know, delivery and then Blinkett's growths. I think lots of tailwinds on Zomato as well. So I think this could be interesting one to watch out for. Next up is ABB. Now again, ABB is like a picture perfect 15 minute VCP kind of a play. Uh, I really like it. Another opening drive candidate. I think everything is pretty, you know, setting up really well. Now, Earnings uh, were announced on 10th of May, which is Friday. So let's see how does, uh, you know, um, you know, this react to more because the earnings are really good. So again, ABP, probably it's going to gap up, might not give an uh, a chance. Now for positional traders, I think Maneuver is now perfectly set up. I think there is nothing that can stop this one to move from now. So I think if you want to park money in a good growth stock at a reasonably good valuation, uh, comparative valuation, I would say. Maneuver is the right name. I think it's pretty good. Supriya so Life Sciences, just like other pharma names, I think Torrent Pharma, Dr. Reddy is two of these names. I was just scanning the stocks. I think setting up decently at an area of demand. In Swift Labs, picture perfect trade. Like it, it doesn't need any 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 other uh, you know ifs and buts. The trade area looks very simple. Go long here. Place your stops here. Yes, it's a seven eight percent stop, but it's a quick mover. This can move twenty percent in no time. So. Again, a uh, decent one. Hero Motor Corp, again, not yet ready at all at an area of supply. But we've seen escorts. We've seen other two-wheeler names. They've done decently. Oriental Hotels looks decent. Uh, nice, tight, little uh, price action over here. Uh, I think maybe a little deeper into this swing and then it could probably start spiking higher. So I think this is also pretty nice, but I think we'll have to wait. Next up, we've got Bharati Airtel. Again, light tight little base formation over here. It has done its share of moves, so I'm not really expecting a lot from this. Sun TV is an interesting name from the media pack, and I think this is also decent. Earnings coming up, uh, which is due on, I think, 24th of May. But I think decent, decent action here as well. Tata Motors, earnings announced. Decent earnings, not bad. Let's see how brokerages treat Tata Motors. I really have a problem with this, so I'm not really a big fan of this. I have a problem with the supply. Balakrishna Industries, coming back to the watch list once again. Um, I think now seven days consecutive of tight range action. I think pretty, pretty solid. 17th May reporting earnings, very, very nice base. Good. This is, I think, by risk reward terms, probably the best play. Latent view. Very high growth stock, great management commentary, maybe a four, five percent stop, and at least a 30% target for this one. Uh, Latin View has, uh, I think it is just moving in a staggered way. I think it's perfect. Earnings are already out. Everything is done and dusted. I think this is ready to move. Risk reward is great. Again, it's a disclaimer. This is not a financial advice. Please consult your financial advisor before taking any investment decisions. This is just a trade idea for educational purposes. Dr. Reddy, I was talking about pharma names. So I think setting up at an area of demand, I'm not really a big fan of pharma, but I think Supriya is doing decent. Dr. Reddy, maybe if Pharma does decently well tomorrow, maybe we could start seeing some action in this one. Zydus Wellness, same. From the Pharma space, preparing for a breakout, has been consolidating for a long period of time. This supply is a problem, but this supply still is about 3-4% far away from the current market price, so could be decent. Next up is Coforge. You know, I have been singing IT uh, for a long period of time and it didn't really work out. Um, so this time, I'm a little skeptical about saying this, but I think GoForge is trading at a decent place. I would be keeping this uh, on my radar. AB Capital, same thing. After the restructuring uh, thing announced, a lot of value creation, a lot of value unlocking. Uh, volume dry up, announcing earnings on Monday, which is tomorrow. Could be interesting to see on how things play. I think a lot of these things are factored in. Pretty good one. Aarti, not my the, not my favorite name because chemicals are doing very bad. Um, so I wouldn't really recommend this, but I would say that maybe this could be something that we can keep on radar. In Devils Housing Finance, trading at an area of demand, risk reward is good, stock is very weak. Interesting one, I would say. Uh, IDFC First Bank, I think this is also one of the great ones. Uh, trading at very good valuations, very good price. Trading at an area of demand, started its entire move from this area. I think 
uh, at the current market price, the risk reward again seems very good. Maybe like a two percent odd stop, uh, with like a 10, 13 percent kind of a move as a target. Persistent from the IT pack liquidates the low, which I like. Taps into this area, which is unmitigated already. Looks good. I think I'm interested. Right, I can just make this a little better. I'm interested. HCL Tech, another IT name. So I've seen two or three IT names at attractive areas. Not yet ready for a trade, but I think they're 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 decent. They're good. HDFC Bank. We've already spoken about this. Century Play. I think this is setting up nicely for an expansion earnings announcement tomorrow. So be careful about this. But I think trading at a nice location, nice little base, lots of activity could be triggered. Rolex Rings. Beaten down name, OEMs um, have had like a okay-ish month, uh, but I think this base looks good, uh, price is contracting nicely, we've seen an uptick in volume, I like it. Now one more thing, we already have a position in Rolex rings taken up over here, so that's a disclaimer, so please do your own due diligence. Now what we are expecting is we are expecting at least these highs to be taken out and that would be the target. Uh, so I'll just show you where exactly the trade is taken. So there it goes. So this was taken out, uh, on about 9th of May. This was the entry. Post our entry, this is what happened. And, um, you know, it's it's just going really nice. Uh, but I think we expect more action from this one. So please do your own due diligence. And that's a disclaimer. Next up and last but not the least is Scammer Baba Patanjali. So now, um, trading at a decent area. Earnings coming up. Lots of headwinds, lots of challenges from the legal standpoint. Stock had like a decent run up, comes back over here. Technically, this is a buy. Um, I think uh, risk reward is also decent. FMCG is doing well. So I think this could be the trade idea. We will keep this as a target where every other foolish trader will enter. And I think, I think you guys are smart. Uh, 5%, 6%, uh, like 5R target, 5% stop. 20-25% as a target could be a good play um, and since FMCG names like we've seen what Britannia has done we've seen what Marico has done like if you forgot what they have done let me show that to you right so just look at Britannia just look at this action we traded this one look at Marico post earnings oh. okay sorry my bad look at Marico post earnings just look at what Marico has done created a base and then just flew away uh, into, uh, you know, unwanted trajectory. And uh, now the party is over for this one. But we've seen FMCG do really well. So I think this could be an interesting place as well. So, yep, that's it from the market wrap. I hope you liked it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and do drop in a comment and the like button. And um, I wish you all the best for your trading week ahead. I have a bullish bias. Let's see what the market does for Nifty Bank Nifty. Probably first half bearish. In second half short covering, I think that's the kind of plan that I have in my mind. Uh, but for mid caps, I think a uh, lot of them are set. So let's see how it plays out. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.